By then, um, I have heard all of these friends' stories about Buford and knowing already how much he influenced James Baldwin and how Baldwin in turn, when Buford came to Paris, um, sort of acted as Buford's mentor. Um, I should say that Buford Delaney suffered from mental illness and um, Baldwin really became sort of almost a caretaker for him and at the end was literally named as part of a committee to um, take care of Buford's affairs while he was in a mental institution in Paris. That combined with the, the real, you know, real life stories of these people who are so happy that Buford's grave is intact and they want to place a stone, I'm now becoming personally involved in this man's story. And I found out the cost of placing a stone. I don't remember it exactly, but it's written on the blog somewhere. Um, and I said, it's too much for me to collect. I'm not going to collect that in my name. So I started an, a foundation, a foundation. I started a French nonprofit called Les Amis de Buford Delaney, which means Friends of Buford Delaney, to collect the money to place that stone. And I started a blog about Buford because I wanted to give legitimacy to the fundraising effort. I wanted people to know that, you know, this wasn't just some kind of a sham. We are devoted to raising this money for this man. This is why you should care about him. This is what he's done here. Um, this is, you know, the, the kind of work that, that he did, et cetera, et cetera. And I started that blog in 2009 and I'm still writing it today. A lot of people thought or think that Buford came to France because he was fleeing the United States because, you know, he grew up, he was born in Knoxville, Tennessee in 1901. So, you know, Southern black male. Um, and, and he was gay. So, you know, all strikes against him. And people automatically think that because he came to Paris, um, he came after the Second World War, people think that he was fleeing something. But when you read the only biography that is written by Buford, um, you learn that Buford thought of this coming to France as a vacation. He, was, he thought it was gonna be a summer vacation. And he was actually gonna go to Rome um, to see a friend of his, actually one of the friends of Buford Delaney who got this whole Les Amis thing started. So it's sort of shocking, you know, that here's a man who had every reason to flee, but in fact, he was just coming to, to Europe because he wanted to visit friends and because as an artist uh, who was, he was a modernist, so he was influenced by a lot of artists who became famous in France, artists like Matisse, um, he wanted to, to, you know, walk on, walk the streets where these artists walked and go to museums in Paris and see their work here. It really wasn't about leaving. It was about looking for something that enriched his soul as an artist and wanted to keep his friendships intact. And I think, although my story is very different in terms of its details, we came here for the same reason. I think the bottom line is that individuals can make a difference. And as long as you are true to yourself and not um, afraid of showing who you are to other people and sharing who you are with other people, then even the smallest things, things that you might consider in the moment very insignificant, can be life-changing. And so, really, I think the example is that, or, or the, the, the moral of the story is that um, you, lead, you lead by example, you lead by living your best life and by sharing that life with others. And so that's, I take inspiration from those stories and I, I try to be 
the best example that I can be by living my life the best way that I can be and just being an example for others. Leading by example is, um, is one of the three pillars of a women's group that I have founded called the L-Cubed Alliance. And leadership, it, it, it's, it's, it's critical. It's critical and it's, it's critical not only just from a human standpoint, but I think from the African American standpoint, it is critical that people can see that um, African Americans can go anywhere and do anything anywhere in the world. You know, my story is very atypical. I'm not a musician. I'm not a writer. I mean, I'm not a writer in the sense I'm not a novelist or, you know, um, I'm a scientist. Uh, I happen to have fallen in love with history and am learning every day about art. And I am making a difference. I'm making a difference in people's lives quite by accident. You know, I'm just following my passion and sharing it. So Discover Paris is my husband's and my travel planning service. And we are at www.discoverparis.net. Okay. Um, I write the Entree to Black Paris blog, which is at entree to blackparis.blogspot.com. I also write the Les Amis de Buford Delaney blog. That's Les Amis de Buford Delaney dot blogspot.com. For the Wells International Foundation, it's Wells International Foundation dot org. My women's group, the L Cubed Alliance, uh, that's L as in Larry, the number three, a-L-L-I-A-N-C-E uh, dot com.